Hey, hey, and welcome to this another episode of Work Smarter, Not Harder with me, Tony Harmer. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at another simplified mapping exercise. This time, we're going to add a railway to our simple map. So here we are with this one. We've got a few roads on it, got a motorway or freeway, depending on where you come from when you're watching this, some buildings and a river and some other stuff. And this is the course of our railway just here. So if I select this line at the moment, you can see default stroke here of one point. So I'm actually just going to dial that out a little bit to make it a bit thicker. So let's go up to about 18 points just there. That's nice and wide like that. Then I'm going to come across to the appearance panel where all of the magic happens and I'm going to select stroke from here, which of course gives me a link through to the stroke panel. And I'm going to turn this on as a dashed line just there. And actually that is pretty much exactly what I was after, three points and five points. So this is a three point long dash. Of course you want to make wider pieces here, then you can just dial that up like so. But three points does meet my needs and the gap between them I kind of figure that five points there works really, really well for me, but you can modulate that uh, as required. So now I'm going to add another stroke. Now I could click down here for the add new stroke button. I'm going to teach you a hidden shortcut. It's alt command slash, and that will add another stroke like so. Okay, now this probably has the existing properties of the other one. So I'm going to dial that one down like so, turn it off. Uh, from being a dash stroke and I'm going to bring this down to something a bit narrower. I think around about two points there will work just fine. So now I've got this line running down the middle of the stroke there like so. Of course that's absolutely no good at all just there. So what I'm going to do is move it across. So with the stroke targeted in the appearance panel, I'm going to come up to the effect menu, I'm going to come down to distort and transform and then choose transform and then I'm just going to turn on preview so you can see where this is happening and I'm going to move it across by a little bit so let's just move it by one millimeter here two millimeters is too much so if one is not quite enough and two is too many I think I'm going to go in the middle here and type in 1.5 let's tab through that and that's almost exactly how I'd like it to be. So I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to duplicate this stroke just here. So if I just click on that to target it and then hit the duplicate selected item button. The only thing I need to do here now, of course, is to open up the stroke just there. Click on transform to access the panel and then just pop in a minus in front of that to make it negative. 1.5 and if I turn on the preview you can see I've got exactly what I'm after just there and if I hit OK there's my railway and of course I can tweak this as much as I want so now I'm slightly less happy with the gap than I was before so I'm going to come down to my 18 point stroke here and tap out on the stroke and maybe just dial this down a little bit on the gap so there you are that five points there works really really well for me I think and there you are that's how to very quickly add a very very flexible railway feature to your simplified map so I hope you managed to make use of that don't forget to subscribe to the channel reach out to me via twitter at Tony Harmer follow my facebook page and you'll see details for that in a minute where you can pause and just note those down and then keep on watching so until next time, see ya. <music>